Hey, are you thinking about moving to Short Hills, New Jersey? Well, if you are, this is a great video for you because we're going to take a little tour, show you some real estate, show you what's in town. I'm actually standing in front of the train station and we're going to talk a little bit about the difference between Short Hills and Milburn. And I actually have another video about that, which I'll link above right over here. But we're starting out the tour here at this train station and we're going to go down. We're going to see a couple different places in the area and um, we're gonna see the Short Hills Mall, we're gonna see the Hearts Horn Arboretum, and then we're gonna tour around and see some of the homes that recently sold in the last 30 days or so to give you an idea of what is here for sale. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. your first visit to the channel and you're looking to learn everything there is to know about the midtown direct suburbs of new york city then subscribe below and tap notification bell so you can be the first to hear about the current market here in new jersey and new york hey i'm jeff the team and i we get calls every day from people just like you who are thinking about moving to one of new york city's amazing suburbs and we love it so whether you're moving in seven days or seven months give us a call shoot us a text or send us an email so we can help you find the perfect place so, as I mentioned at the beginning, we are here in Short Hills, New Jersey. The first stop on our tour, which is the mall at Short Hills, or more commonly known as the Short Hills Mall. And this mall is great because you have a lot of different price points. You have Neiman Marcus, which is behind me. You have Nordstrom's. On that end, you have Bloomingdale's, Macy's, and then everything from like Louis Vuitton, Hermes, uh, all the fancy watch stores, uh, down to like, you know, the basic regular stores that you might visit, like kind of like the Banana Republics and those kind of stores. So you got everything right here. But the reason why I wanted to start here was because we're kind of at the corner of Short Hills where we've got um, West Orange to the north, uh, Livingston also sort of to the north. And then that way, over on the other side of 24, we've got Chatham. And then behind me, on the other side of 24, that way, to the south, is Summit. So that kind of gives you an idea of where we are in New Jersey. And this way, which is, Short Hills is basically mostly that way. We're kind of at the western corner of Short Hills. But on the other side of the road here, where you see these trees, this is Canubra Country Club, which is one of the nice... Uh, private courses in the area and they have two 18 hole courses so there's an 18 hole course here and then the other side of the highway there's another 18 hole course so they've got two courses and they've got lots of um, sort of like private dining and that kind of stuff in their clubhouse but that is a private club so if you're trying to get in there you're probably gonna have to find a friend that might be a member or so on um, but yeah the Short Hills Mall is very large um, you know you can do everything from your cheap shopping to your fancy shopping and um, it's got a few restaurants so you could come here for lunch um, they've also got some of the store restaurants inside some of the like Newman Marcus and so on but um, and they don't really have a food court but it's more um, like I said inside the, the stores there's also legal seafood here and uh, California Pizza Kitchen so sort of individual one-off restaurants rather than um, kind of like a food court. There's also a cool kind of like Italian market and there's also cheesecake factories on the other side. So definitely cool stuff over here to see at the Short Hills Mall. Before we jump on the tour, I totally forgot something super important, which is to explain what Short Hills is compared to Milburn. So Milburn is the township. Short Hills is an unincorporated area and it has its own census designation. It's called a census designated place, CDP. Uh, now, it, that census designation accounts for about 14,000 people, just to give you an idea of the population here. Milburn is a little bit over 20,000 people. Um, and like I said before, I'll link, below, a link above and below the Milburn video to give you an idea. And they do share the... Um, the, the police department and everything because again it's, it doesn't have any governing body here so all the schools are in Milburn all the police and public works are via the Milburn um, governing body but you do have that census um, designation so to speak so 
let's get into it. Let's go sec check out some real estate. I did want to just mention that so you get understanding of what it is, what the difference is between the two. Let's go. Okay, so we just arrived at our first house that we're gonna show. This sold within the last couple weeks, actually. Um, this is 502 Short Hills Road. It's a very busy street. That's why I'm parked on the side here. I'm gonna show some B-roll driving by it. But this house is a four bed, two and a half bath on 0.54 acres, built in 1960. Had a very older, a very much older interior, probably needs a lot of work. Um, and this was listed at 125, and it sold for 1175, so there's a little bit of a negotiation there. Like I said, it did need some work. It was on the market for 59 days. And as you can see, it's a ranch, so it's kind of that mid-century ranch style home. Um, it's a very busy road. You're down the hill from Livingston, um, St. Barnabas Hospital, and you're just over the main road from um, the main Deerfield section of Short Hills. This is kind of in the more northern part of the town. And yeah, like I said, this one is going to need a lot of work. It's questionable who bought it. Might They might gut renovate it or they might knock it down and build something new. It all depends on their budget, obviously. So. Uh, just wanted to give you uh, an idea. This is on the lower end of the budget for Short Hills. You're not going to find much below a million. And like I said, w pricing can go up way, way high here in Short Hills because it's a beautiful um, community of homes. Um, some of them are very historic. Some of them are been knocked down and are new renovations. So let's move on to the next one. Hey, so we're on our second stop here in Short Hills, New Jersey. We're walking up South Terrace, which is just off of 24. So you do get a little bit of um, you do get a little bit of that highway sort of sound in the background. And the recent sale here was 14 South Terrace, and it was this is it behind me right here. This is a colonial brick style, and it's it listed for 1,274,000 and it sold for 1260000 so a little bit discount on the price. It was a four bedroom, two full bath, two half bath on 0.28 acres, so just over a quarter of an acre. And um, you can see the town, sorry, you can see the neighborhood around me here. This was on the market for 53 days and it was built in 1947 with uh, renovations done in 2014. It's a colonial style with that brick front and uh, overall nice deal because from here you could get over to the train so you might not even have to I mean you could drive over there but you could leave your car here and then actually hop over to the train so you know different options depending on what you want to do and beautiful area nice manicured landscaped homes around me so yeah that's 14 south terrace so we're walking around in hartshorn area and it's named after the hartshorn family and the reason why we're here is because i wanted to show you the cora hartshorn arboretum and bird sanctuary which is right here and it's actually about a half mile quarter mile from the train station um, here's the main entrance with the beautiful house sort of a shingle style with some Tudor inspiration. Um, but it's a beautiful piece of property that is preserved for birds and trees. And here's a, here's a nice sign out front. Um, it's probably about 10 acres of land. Um, there's another garden, which is called Greenwood Garden, up the road that's kind of tucked against South Mountain. So what's nice about Short Hills, you do have that quick commute to the city, but you have great amenities like this that get you outside so you can enjoy nature, get some fresh air. And in the South Mountain, you've got like hiking trails and stuff like that. And here it's more of like a science center. Kids can visit, um, you know, and learn about birds and trees and so on. And you've got some beautiful properties right behind us here. So that's the Cora Hartshorn Arboretum. And uh, definitely worth a trip by just to see it if you want to break from your real estate tour like we're doing right now and you're uh, checking out some homes. So let's go see a few more homes. Okay, so we've just arrived at our third home on the tour, and this is right around the $1.5 million budget. It listed for 1.538, and it's one Bruce Path. It's a beautiful colonial brick home, um, right on a one-way street. Now it does back up against a busy road, but it's got that one-way street, so it's um, 
very quiet road in front. It's just that your backyard may be a little bit noisy. Uh, it was on the market for 54 days and it ended up selling for 1.53. Uh, it was a four bed, um, three and a half bath on also a half acre, it was a 0.52 acres, built in 1977 and it had a 2009 renovation. So the interior is pretty good. Um, you could definitely check it out on like Zillow if you want to see the photos and see what it looked like. But um, it's colonial style brick, as I mentioned. And we're also right, uh, we're actually not far from the other one. We're right in that northern um, Deerfield section of um, Short Hills. And just good idea of what 1.5 million can get you. A lot of sort of mid century um, sized homes, I shouldn't say size, mid century layout homes in that area. Um, as you're driving around Bruce Path. There's also Bruce Circle, which is right down the, the road, which is kind of a, it looked like it was originally um, a cul-de-sac, and then they kind of branched this off and created Bruce Path, linking back up. So that gives you an idea of what that budget will get you in Short Hills. And we're gonna go look at another one. It's gonna be our fourth stop. It's gonna be just below two million to give you an idea of that spread. So let's go check that one out. Okay, so we're walking down Hickory Road here in Short Hills, New Jersey, and we're in the Deerfield section still. Um, we're more in the central section. The other homes were in the sort of um, northern section. Actually, South Terrace was in a different section. That was more over by Hartshorn. But um, you can see sort of larger homes. These were probably new builds. And then you kind of have these smaller uh, ranch size homes, which were probably built in the 50s. And actually, we're going to be walking up on our last property, which is 33 Hickory Road. Uh, it was built in 1958, and that's on a just under a quarter. Uh, sorry, just under a half an acre. So 33 Hickory Road. This is an interesting one. It was listed for 1575. It's on the market for eight days, and it was like I said, it was built in 1958, and it was renovated in 2014. It went in eight days and the in the sold price was 1.9 million so people saw this and they really wanted it. it had a great renovation on the inside and here it is so this is 33 hickory road um quite a bit of money over asking and it just goes to show you i keep saying it in other videos list price makes a big difference get a lot of attention in the door get people below necessarily the budget um, looking at it and kind of hype up the home you can see what what that gets you almost 400,000 over asking um, split level home you can see and it's a five bed three full bath two half baths um, and just beautiful homes are in this area very quiet road I'm standing in the middle of the street and nobody's driving by lots of ranches you can see some of these probably would have been ranches that got knocked down and built as new construction so look that's the end of our tour and I hope you found it helpful give you an idea of what's in the area for this budget we'll probably do another video with the higher end homes that are much more expensive um, to show you what's going on in short hills um, but those can get you know two million three million four million depends on what's on the market um, but these all of these recently sold within the last 30 days of filming I'll probably post this a few weeks later because it's just my process, but uh, gives you an idea of what's going on. If you found that helpful, definitely get in touch with us or leave a comment below so other people can learn from your questions or comments. Um, I'm Jeff. I hope it's been helpful. Definitely get in touch with us and we'll see you in the next video.